welcome back to my channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. We have seen some very interesting price action in gold. Initially, you were expecting that the price would actually shoot up. It does has not, but we have seen a clearly warning signal. We have seen a clearly a double bottom creating, giving us an important information. We'll also look at silver. Silver has moved uh, interestingly. You are expecting the prices would actually sharp carry on but so far they haven't so we'll comment on that section I'll also look at euro and see where the prices are heading in euro so we are going to all look at these three and then we'll see where things are heading let's have a look at gold first on the daily chart we can see that the we have seen the larger price movement going upward and then you are seeing considering it as a correction prices are in a very very tight situation and uh, initially we said that prices would go and jump right from over here instead what has happened is that prices have come up uh, come down and created a double bottom so i want to indicate one important thing is that every time prices fell down they went into deep territory they fell down they went into deep correction right over here every time they fell down they into it so the question here is possibility that would that be the correction right start ending right over here for people who are expect who you know Elliott wave analysis, they could be expecting that this is an wave A, wave B, and wave C. But from the previous analysis, uh, from the previous price expect uh, price analysis and price movement, uh, I'm expecting something different, and that is of the concern right now. I'm considering that we will probably see an expanded flat, but not that would end end right over here. I'm expecting that this expanded flat actually would go deeper somewhere over in this region. It could go right over in this region too. There's a possibility. So far, I have not labeled anything right off because of it, because the price patterns have been really complicated in this area. So I've decided to take this price action and comment on this instead of uh, commenting on the larger price action. So for now, we are focused on this price action and we'll look at it. So I'm expecting that we are going to see some sort of wave A, wave B, we have already completed when we'll see probably wave 1 right over here, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. So I'm expecting a deeper price action in Elliott uh, wave analysis as per Elliott wave analysis in gold. The reason very important because we are seeing bounce off the prices of very important support areas right over this one. In this area we can see the prices is having around here in this area and this is a very critical important support area if you are seeing the bounce off over here I'm expecting the prices are expected to go deep let's have a look silver I want to say something very interesting in silver that might not accurately but there is a possibility that it that prices are heading better uh, that way so if you look at the previous price action, we can see that silver stayed in a very tight range and then all of a sudden, in a very short period of time, it skyrocketed. Could this be a possibility? So far we have seen gold creating a new high on a weekly chart, but we can see that silver has not created a new high. Could this be the time period for silver actually creating a new high? I'm thinking of a serious possibility that gold, silver, if silver wants to create the new high, this is the time for silver because we are looking for deep price action in gold. So this that probably could take silver to create a new high. So there's a high possibility of that occurring too. So let's have a look on a daily time frame. Uh, we have seen prices going up, we have seen a correction, we have seen prices going up and we have initially we were considering this whole, whole as a single price movement and this as a correction and I'm expecting the price would go on, instead price has come down further. Marking a clear 5 wave structure, we have seen wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 and wave 5. If you consider, look at the wave 4, it has gone into the territory of wave, uh, wave 1 and 2, so that's giving us a probably an ending diagonal or a leading diagonal. There's two possibilities. Combining this with the, this structure gives us uh, some an idea. This is wave one and wave two, and then this could probably wave and one, and this whole hole be a wave two of a larger uh, wave one and two correction. So wave A flat correction, wave B a zigzag, and then wave C a five wave structure. This gives us a flat correction three, three and five structure. So this is an expanded wave, uh, expanded flat, giving us indication that as soon as the correction will done, we probably see prices going upward. That's why I'm expecting that we will see probably a deeper price action in gold and in silver. So there's a possibility, there's a strong possibility that we will see prices moving, making, creating a new high. The within is going to be a dramatic as, is has, as it has happened over here.
or at least we are going to see prices going up somewhere in this area what happens after that we'll have to look at price action after that to comment what is whether we have created a bottom right over here or not but we'll take small steps because i've taken to try to take a lot steps and so far the forecast hasn't gone that way let's have a look at euro euro is also looking very interestingly because of important support areas are arriving initially when prices are right over here we expecting the prices to go up instead they have not and they have come come down further down so if you look at some interesting support levels euro is at around very important support area along horizontally if you look at it this support structure is very important if euro wants to buy this is the area for buyers to come in and come buy euros and if you look at the angle coming as well the diagonal angle or the diagonal support we are also very close to the diagonal support as well so euro is very very close to the area let's zoom out a little further more on a weekly chart and we can see that there is a possibility that euro will go up and create a significant hub it can go all the way up or it can actually go all the way up and come down that's too early to say but what i'm saying right now is that this price action that actually started right from over here does not seem to be completed which give us an indication that we should be bullish on euro so i'm bullish on euro bullish on gold and silver in my previous video i discussed one of the uh, actually few uh, mining stocks i'm interested in silver mining stocks more than as compared to gold mining stock right now because the reason is that if you look at it so far gold has been down and it has not created a top beyond it and if you look at silver silver has the potential to creating a new top which has then it has not done so so could there be this be possibility that uh, silver stocks would go really high i want to take that chance and i want to actually uh, buy some silver stocks as well so if you are interested in this video please pr press thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel see you guys next week have a good one and bye bye